we have a book haul today. I've been buying books like an absolute crazy person lately and at this point I've accumulated quite a few books so I feel like it's finally time to do a book haul. The majority of the books that I do have are from Amazon but I do have a few from Blackwell's and then also we do have a couple from Barnes & Noble. One of them is a special edition book which I am so so freaking excited. It's like my first official like special edition. I've gotten like special edition Barnes & Noble books but this one is like in a case and everything and it's beautiful. I'm so excited to show you but that's gonna be near the end because we're gonna do Amazon first because that's the bulk of the boxes. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some scissors so that we can open this stuff. Actually, you know what? We're gonna put a pause on the Amazon books for a second because this is actually a book that I got sent by the actual author of the book which blew my mind. <laughs> this book was actually sent to me in the beginning of October and I feel bad that it's taken me this long to open it but I started opening it and the packaging is above and beyond. Like. I just was expecting to get like a loose book in a package like you do with Amazon for instance but they actually put so much effort into the wrapping of this book that I wanted to show you guys and I just keep forgetting. Um, so this is the box that it came in <laughs> uh, and first of all just the box in and of itself is just super cute uh, but then when you actually open it, look at it! <laughs> First of all, they wrapped it with like a little wax seal, but then also they wrote me a little personalized note, but then also it came with this like really pretty metal bookmark. There's also supposed to be a little like smaller version of this at the bottom, but it broke off, which is not a big deal. I have a lot of jewelry making supplies, so very easy to fix. Um, and here's the actual book. As you can see, I have not opened it yet. Uh, and it's actually a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be. And it is called Sunnyville, which I wanna like keep this nice. I've actually been really inspired by Katie is reading recently. She has a reading journal that she kind of uses as a little bit of a scrapbook as well. And I think that is so fun, especially for like milestones within this channel. Never in a million years when I started this channel did I think an author, especially so early into my channel, would reach out to me and send me their book. So I would love to like make a spread and like save this like note in the wax seal and things like that. Maybe use like the tissue paper to like decorate the page or something. I don't know. Anyway, long story short, I want to keep this kind of nice so that I can put it in a scrapbook at some point potentially. Let's see. I feel like I'm getting like a Christmas present. Like I said, the title is called Sunnyville and it's by J.H. Hastings. I actually really randomly love the back cover of this book and I love the artistic style of like putting the text off to the side. I don't know exactly what this book is about. I do know that it's a thriller and apparently it's about a girl named Rosemary and she always thought Sunnyville had such an idyllic and peaceful atmosphere, but at night the town seemed to change unexpectedly. So it seems like it's kind of about a creepy town, like something bad happened and now the town feels like haunted and creepy. So here's this book. I'm pretty excited to read it at some point. I'm not really in the thriller mood at the moment. I'm very much in like a romance mood, but I'm very excited to read it and I will be using my cool little bookmark. Now let's go ahead and move on to our actual Amazon packages and we'll go ahead and do this one because it's at the top of my pile. It's a very odd shape of a box for a book. <laughs> I remember what I ordered, but I don't remember like what package is what. Ooh, okay. Here she is, all leaned over. I kind of hate that they did that because it crinkled up the dust jacket. So the first book that we have from Amazon is Light Lark by Alex Astor. Welcome to the Centennial. Every hundred years, the island of Light Lark appears for only 100 days to host a deadly game where the rulers of six realms fight to break their curses and win unparalleled power. Each ruler has something to hide. Each curse is uniquely wicked. To break them and save themselves and their realms, one ruler will die. So essentially we have six rulers with six different curses and games to the death. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that there is a romance element to this as well. So love it. Love everything about that. This little like glossy kind of like popped out heart is so cool, but the actual hardcover gorgeous as well. Not only does this have like the foiled gold kind of like title and kind of like decorative elements, but also it has kind of like this pattern in the back that gives the book kind of like a leather type of feel or like look, which I think is so cool. I'm super excited about this and I'm actually going to break away from the Amazon books really quickly because I did also purchase the second book in the series because it got released in November and I basically ran to Barnes & Noble to get it. So one moment. <laughs> All right, so here's the second book in the Light Lark series, Nightbane. Uh, and I did get the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. So again, we kind of have like a glossy kind of like popped out picture. The end papers are the map, which I think is really pretty. But then here is our hardcover. I am obsessed with this image. <laughs> this is definitely gonna be a romance because we have a guy like holding a woman. 
And then here's what the spine looks like. I don't know if you can really tell, but this one is kind of like a dark blue color versus like the black like the other one. And it also does have that kind of like leather type texture. I definitely think this is gonna be a series that I read very soon because I'm very excited about them. I think this sounds so fun. Next box. All right, what do we have in this one? Ooh, okay, yay. This next book is my very first graphic novel. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is Lore Olympus volume one by Rachel Smith or Smythe. This is essentially a graphic novel about Hades and Persephone. I've always been kind of resistant to graphic novels because they seem kind of like childlike, uh, but this one definitely does have an air of being more adult, which I think is fun. Next up we have kind of two of these bigger boxes. Let me grab the other one. Okay, we have two of these big boxes and I'm gonna kind of organize them for a second because they basically both contain two different series. So the first couple of books that we have in these two boxes are A Chain of Gold and A Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. And I got these because I purchased A Chain of Thorns a couple of months ago. And this is the third book in this series. And the only reason I got this kind of out of order was because it was half off at Barnes & Noble a couple of months ago, so I couldn't pass up on the opportunity. I've heard a lot of really good things about Cassandra Clare's writing, so I'm excited to give these books a read. They are pretty chunky, so they're a little intimidating, but <laughs> I'm excited. This is about a girl named Cordelia, and she is a shadow hunter, a warrior trained since childhood to battle demons. And it looks like she has some family issues, like her father is being accused of a crime, her mom wants to like marry her off against her wishes, but then apparently she runs into two friends, James and Lucy, who James, she apparently has a secret love for. And then there's also vampires and warlocks and mermaids and magicians. So there's all kinds of things going on in this book. And now I'm extra excited to read this. I didn't realize that there was so much magic in it. I knew it was like fantasy, but like I didn't realize there was every fantasy creature alive in this book. <laughs> um, and as far as the actual hardcovers go, they're pretty plain. They just have the title in foiling on the side, which does actually match, you know, the book covers. Like this one's kind of blue. So the metallic on the side of the book is also blue. Chain of gold is gold. And then the chain of thorns is purple randomly. And then next up I have another entire series or trilogy. And this is the Serpent and Dove trilogy. I don't know the actual like name, but we're gonna call it Serpent and Dove because that is what the first book is called. And then the second one is Blood and Honey and then Gods and Monsters. And I actually bought the entire series originally in paperback, but I decided to kind of start getting hardcovers instead of paperbacks because just in general, they look nicer on my shelves. So I returned the paperbacks and purchased the hardcovers. I do still have the paperback for this first one because I already read it, so I felt weird like returning it. Uh, but these two I did return and I'm excited to kind of jump back into this series. It's been a minute since I read this one and I do remember really liking it. It's basically about a witch and a witch hunter and it is a romance, like a fantasy romance. The actual hardcovers themselves for these books are plain, but the spine has a little image of like a serpent and a dove, which I thought was kind of cute. And then the second and third book are still also very plain, but they do actually match, like the hardcover itself matches the color of the dust jacket. So for this one, Blood and Honey, it's red. So the hardcover is also red, which I think is pretty cool. And then there is only one other book in these two boxes. I basically got it because the cover reminded me of Christmas and obviously the Christmas season is literally here. This is The Sun and the Void by Gabriella Romero La Cruz. Is this just not like the most festive looking cover? <laughs> I actually showed this in my last bookstore vlog. I saw it in Barnes Noble and I didn't get it on that trip, but while I was editing that bookstore vlog, I was fully regretting that. So uh, I went ahead and purchased it off of Amazon and I'm excited to give this a read. I definitely am going to be reading it in December because again, the cover just screams winter, winter festive season. It also does have these like, I think they're called beveled edges where the paper is kind of like uneven. I actually really like the look of that. I know some people don't because it does look kind of messy, but I think it's fun. Like literally there was a one star review for this book on Amazon because someone was like, my pages are jacked up. <laughs> So I, I thought that was kind of funny. But anyway, let's see what this book is about. Two women embark on an unforgettable quest in this sweeping fantasy debut inspired by the history and folklore of South America. So that's actually pretty fun. I love any kind of folklore. I just think that kind of stuff is fascinating. Also too, I just really love the fact that this is like a fantasy adventure book involving two women. Usually there's always like a man and a woman. There's usually some sort of romance. I don't know if this is gonna be romance, but it does just involve the two women, it seems like. And I think that's really fun. So it's about Reina, who is stuck on the edges of society. Um, and basically she gets an invitation to her grandmother's, but on the way she kind of runs into some danger and she's on the verge of death until her grandmother, a dark sorceress, inter 
intervenes. So that's pretty cool. And then the second half of the synopsis is about Ava, who is unwanted, illegitimate, and of mixed heritage. Ava is her family's shame. She tries to be the perfect daughter, but Ava is hiding a secret magic calls to her. Ava knows she should fight the temptation. Magic is the sign of the dark god and using it is punishable by death. So basically we have an adventure between the granddaughter of a dark sorceress and then a girl who's just always been drawn to dark magic. This actually sounds so good. <laughs> I think I only have one more Amazon package left and it's this little bubble mailer. And this one is actually not a book. Uh, this is a little bookshelf decoration. I'll put up a little picture of it. It's essentially like a little tray that has these little fairies and if you burn a tea light candle on it, they spin. Eventually I do want to have like a big enough library and a big enough collection of books to be able to separate them by genre and I want to get like genre specific decorations. So I thought this one would be perfect for my fantasy section that I will have eventually. <laughs> now let's go ahead and get into our stack of Blackwell's purchases, which we do have quite a few things from here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this big one because I'm pretty sure Again, it's an entire series. So let's pop this guy open. Ow, scissors just pinched my finger. Ta-da! So this is actually kind of a repurchase like The Serpent and Dove was, but this one I only bought the first book in the series, so I didn't have to buy rebuy the entire thing. The UK covers are so much freaking cuter than the US ones. So this is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. How stinking cute is this? Also, it has metallic gold on it, which I didn't realize. I'm gonna grab my US cover one so you can kind of see the comparison. <laughs> it's not like the ugliest thing in the world, you know what I mean? But it's not my favorite either. This one, however, is so cute and it makes sense because it actually has a picture of a carnival tent and this is basically about a carnival. So that's what the first book looks like. And then the second book in the series is called Legendary. And here's what this one looks like. We've got some like glittery stars, which look so pretty. And then a little castle. And then we have Finale, which again, we have kind of like a more orangey gold kind of foil. And then that castle again. Also, I just noticed that the spines for these books are actually striped as well. How freaking cute is that? I kind of wish like visually that these two were a little bit different in color. Uh, since they're right next to each other, I kind of hate that they're so similar. I wish they maybe had have done that or something, but anyway. <laughs> uh, if you're unfamiliar with Caraval, it's basically about two sisters, one of which has always wanted to go to Caraval, which again, I think is kind of like a magical carnival of sorts. Once a year, the infamous master legend hosts Caraval, open only to those who have been invited. At midnight on the first day, the show begins and the visitors become players, each of them vying for the coveted prize, a single wish. So I guess if you like win the game of Caraval, uh, you get to get a wish. And one of the sisters has always wanted to go and she finally gets an invite, her and her sister go, but her sister ends up getting like kidnapped by Caraval as part of the game. But then it also seems like it gets kind of dark, like if she doesn't figure out the game, her sister might die, that kind of thing. And I'm extra excited to get into that series because of our next book, which I am dying to open. <laughs> Come on. There we go. This is even prettier in person. I am literally dying inside right now. <laughs> we have Once Upon a Broken Heart, also by Stephanie Garber. I'm sorry, but how pretty is this cover? <laughs> also, I've heard or I've seen that the hardcover for this itself is actually really cool as well. How cool is that? We've got like different images in these little corners, some hearts in here. Here's what the spine looks like. Apparently the Caraval series and this one uh, are within the same world. And a lot of people do recommend reading Caraval before you read Once Upon a Broken Heart. And I am dying to get into this one because this series specifically is the one that a lot of people really, really love. I forgot to mention what Once Upon a Broken Heart is about. So I'm gonna do that really briefly. Basically it's about Evangeline and the love of her life is getting married to someone else and she's brokenhearted about it. So she makes a deal with the Prince of Hearts to I guess stop the wedding in exchange for three kisses. And also I actually realized that this book is signed as well. I was watching a video by Allie and her book was signed. So I checked mine and sure enough, mine is as well. So if you have this book and you got it from Blackwell's, check your books. And then our last two books that we have from Blackwell's is another series. <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited about this one. So this one is Legends and Lattes. And again, the UK cover just looks so much better than the US cover. 
I have resisted reading Legends and Lattes for the longest time, even though everyone has said how cute and good it is. But I did actually get it from the library recently and I figured if I liked it, then I would go ahead and get the UK cover. And obviously I ended up liking it. So we have the UK cover. And then the very last book that we have from Blackwell's is Bookshops and Bone Dust. Bookshops and Bone Dust is essentially the prequel to Legends and Lattes, which Legends and Lattes is essentially about Viv, who is, I guess, like a monster. I don't think they actually like really explain what she is. She's done slaying monsters. She's ready to serve coffee. She basically has lived her entire life kind of going on adventures and killing people, killing other monsters and things like that. And she's ready to kind of like slow things down, open up a coffee shop. And this book is literally about her just opening that coffee shop. It is like the lowest stakes book I have ever read. <laughs> There's pretty much none. There is like a couple of things that pop up, but it's pretty chill, just cozy, found family little book. And I actually really, really enjoyed it. And because I did like this one so much, I did go ahead and get obviously this one as well, which again is kind of like the prequel. I think this happens like 10 or 20 years, I think, set 20 years before the events of Legends and Lattes. Viv's career with the renowned mercenary company Rackham's Ravens isn't going as planned. Wounded during the hunt for a powerful necromancer, she's packed off against her will to recuperate in the sleepy beach town of Merck. Spending her hours at a struggling bookshop in the company of its foul-mouthed proprietor is the last thing Viv would have predicted, even though it may be exactly what she needs. Still, adventure isn't far away. A suspicious traveler in gray, a gnome with a chip on her shoulder, a summer fling, and an improbable number of skeletons prove Merck to be more eventful than Viv could have ever expected. Essentially, this sounds like it's very similar to this, but set in a bookshop instead of a cafe. I think this sounds really fun and I'm excited about it. But also, this is a signed copy and I am so, so excited. This is my very first ever signed edition of a book. There's the signature right there. <laughs> now all we have left is one more book from Barnes & Noble and it is the one that I teased earlier on, my special edition, my very first special edition. So without further ado, our very last book for this book haul is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Is this not so freaking pretty? So this is just the case that the book comes in. How gorgeous. And then here's the actual spine of the book itself. And here, is what she looks like. How insanely gorgeous is this? There's so many things like hidden within the branches. There's like a spider web, a crow, of like a potion, a goblet, a little frog. And then the edges of the book are sprayed black, which I do feel like honestly they could have gotten like a blacker black. I feel like this looks almost like pencil color. <laughs> Here's what our end papers look like, the back ones. And then the chapter titles also have like little illustrations. There's another special edition that I have my eyes on. It's very similar kind of to this where it's got like a really fancy book and a cover and everything. So freaking pretty. I have it on my Christmas wish list. So hopefully we get that for Christmas. If not, I'll have to save up to get it because it's like 40 or $45. It's kind of expensive. This one was 35, uh, but I am part of like Barnes and Noble's like rewards program or whatever. And I think they had like a sale going on. So I think I ended up getting like 20% off of this or something like that, but anyway. I definitely do not have enough room on my TBR cart for all of these books. 